All right, Robert, thank you. It's 532 and your 17 court watching new here at Sunrise. He was one of Bakersfield's most dangerous villains for nearly a decade. Today, a Bakersfield judge could sentence Michael Charles Brown to death, closing the book on one of the most violent criminal careers this town has seen. It was June 19, 2000, when Mahalia Jackson returned to the home she shared with her mother in the 500 block of Grace Street in Northeast Bakersfield. In a back bedroom, Jackson found her mom, 39-year-old Ruby Lee Jackson Merriweather, naked on the floor. She'd been tied up, sexually assaulted, and stabbed 18 times. Jackson Merriweather was pronounced dead at the scene. There was no sign of forced entry. Jackson Merriweather had no defense wounds. There were no witnesses, and the case went cold. Seven years later, Michael Charles Brown was released from prison after serving four years for a gruesome Union Avenue vehicular manslaughter incident. In March 2003, Brown was driving drunk when he struck Gary White at Union Avenue and 10th Street. White became stuck in the windshield until Brown pulled into a wiener schnitzel at Union in California and dumped White's body, leaving him to die before calling the police and reporting his car stolen. After locating his damaged vehicle near what was then Kern Medical Center, Brown admitted to running over White and was charged. Within a month of Brown's release, a series of progressively violent sexual assaults on prostitutes caught the eye of Bakersfield police detectives. On November 26, 2007, a prostitute was sexually assaulted in downtown Bakersfield. She said the attacker told her he had killed and raped women in his home on Bank Street near Emerson Junior High School. A month later, on Christmas Eve 2007, another prostitute was picked up at First in Union. A man drove her to a quiet downtown neighborhood. There, he choked the victim and told her he'd killed in the past. He raped her and tossed her out of the car. Investigators found DNA on that victim. On March 19, 2008, a prostitute at 19th and Union Avenue asked a John for a ride to the hospital. He drove to the area of 23rd and R Streets, parked, and then beat and raped her. When the assailant allowed the victim to step outside and use the restroom, she ran. The man driving the car then ran her over before leaving her naked in the roadway. The attacker left DNA behind. Three days later, another prostitute was near a hotel at 200 Union Avenue. A customer picked her up, drove her to a dark area near Chico and Tulare Streets, and paid her. He told her, quote, I want to keep you, before he began choking her. She was able to escape, and the next day, victim number four identified Michael Charles Brown as the assailant, picking him out of a photo lineup detectives had compiled. DNA from victim number four linked Brown to victims two and three, but it also delivered an unexpected result, a hit on a cold case, a murder nearly eight years old, here on Grace Street. Brown denied his association with any of the prostitutes, and he denied knowing Ruby Lee Jackson Merriweather, but detectives were sure the DNA told the truth. The case took seven years to play out in full, but in January, a jury convicted Brown on 17 felony counts, including one count, first-degree murder. The jury recommendation to sentence Michael Charles Brown to death. Now, the Kern County Sheriff's Office says Michael Charles Brown is a person of interest in the still unsolved 2001 murder of Oildale resident Wendy Kyle. In 2002, the FBI said five fatal stabbings, including Ruby Lee Jackson Mary Weathers, were likely connected, although Brown has never been charged in the others. Judge Kenneth Twistleman scheduled to decide if he is going to uphold the jury's recommendation on the death at 8.30 this morning. Michael Charles Brown declined multiple interview requests. We did reach out to the district attorney's office and Brown's lawyers for this story, but neither returned our calls.